Hi everybody, Wendy here from Lolly Dolly Crafts. Um, today I'm going to work on um, this um, frame that I got from a, um, a sack charity shop. Um, it's a really, I, I like the um, this all um, porcelain flowers, and I don't mind so much the colours of the blue and than that, but the actual frame, I love. I like the. Um, It's got like um, an embossed sort of lacy look to it, but I don't like the horrible smoky looking yellowy sort of colour to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint it um, light antique white, because um, I don't want it stark white, because I still want to, but I want it to look a bit fresher than it does. Um, I'm not going to put a photograph inside, but what I'm going to do is I'm using the um, Prima Fairy Bell collection paper um, and I'm going to use um, this image down here, which is this one. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm, I've already cut this out and then I'm going to fussy cut this bit out and just try and 3D it a little bit um, so it stands out a little bit more. So hopefully that's what... But first of all, um, I'm going to... Um, film it while I'm um, painting it. Um, if the video is too long, feel free to fast forward. I mean, I ain't going to know. Um, I, there's, uh, if my video is long, I, I, long, I apologise, but they're more about crafting along with me or watch me while I craft. Um, um, because I think that way, if I make a mistake or something, it helps and I try and rectify it or I find something different way of doing something that I thought I was going to do then do you know what I mean it's all part of um, the creating. Um, I'm going to also paint the um, these smoky sort of dirty looking flowers here I'm going to paint them rose pink and then I'll go from there um, as to I might even deepen the green it depends on how these turn out once I uh, once I painted them. Um, sorry if you hear a bit of a rumbling noise, my other half's um, working on the garden outside because it's, although it's a bit chilly, it's it's really sunny out there today. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm not going to use a great big um, paintbrush um, because obviously I don't want to go over too much. Um, but I'm going to use this um, quite fine pointed to, uh, toothbrush, paintbrush, you see me wash brushing with a toothbrush. I can never seem to get my mouth in gear with my brain. It always it sort of runs away with itself. <laughs> so anyway, so I'm going to I'm going to use this brush today because it's got quite a fine point, which means I can get into. And whereas if I use this one, it's just going to go everywhere. Whereas if I was doing backwards and forwards, that's what I'd use. But because, um, so I'm going to find. And I don't know what, what I've done with them. My little glass. Uh, I don't suppose it really matters. Let's just give this a bit of a shake. So, I finished my fabric book. After I've done this, I'll, uh, I'm going to just do a quick film of... Uh, I have, I've already done, put some pictures up, but... Uh, I might have to do a couple of uh, coats on this, so... I might pause it and stop and start uh, with this. Because it's probably going to take me... But I think once... Um, once the uh, I've gone over because this is not like a white white it's like an antique white and if I did it really white I think I'd have to paint over it again as well because um, it would just be too stark white unless I was doing something and although I want this sort of shabby sheet look, looking I still want it to have a quite a nice uh, soft feel to it rather than a stark white feel uh, and because it's got a lot of um, embossed areas, it's just this paintbrush is really good for getting into all the little nooks and crannies, and it looks better already. And because it's got a nice point in it, it's not interfering too much with the flowers, the porcelain flowers. Uh, which is really cool. So. Oh, 
and it doesn't really matter if I do go over. Uh, and do catch the flowers a little bit, it doesn't really matter. I can always touch it up. So and this this antique white is a really lovely, lovely colour. And once um, I've painted the frame, it will show up sort of like the rest of the flowers, um, and which will just show that they'll need brightening up probably a little bit. The porcelain flowers. I've just got this um, on my TV in my craft room. I've had a real big tidy up in here today, a bit of a shuffle around. I'm always doing it. Um, just to... um, I bought two little glass pots to uh, pour my paint into. And do you think I can find them? I've still had them here. Oh, there they are. The little glass boo pots just to paint. Oops. But um, yeah, as I was saying, I'm watching this program on TV, and it's called uh, "Don't Tell the Bride." Um, basically, the this, these couple get married. They're given twelve thousand pounds by the TV company, but the on the condition that the man organises the wedding and the the bride has no control whatsoever over um, her dress um, and to be fair well, the majority of them make a good job they've had a couple of uh, girls that have said that the dress that they've picked is uh, well let's just say hysterical tears <laughs> so this guy on TV at the moment he's a Catholic and uh, well both his him and his girlfriend or his fiance are both Catholics and they want to get married in this Catholic church that obviously they're quite devout Catholics but obviously when you get married in a Catholic church there's a lot of um, a lot of um, things that you have it's not a case of just saying oh I want to get married on this day you have to have you they would like you to go for us I think it's a six-week um, um, like counselling thing just to sort of you know just to help you make your marriage work I think basically and they have to get special permission from the bishop um, and this poor fella's been waiting for an answer but it looks like they've said yeah anyway so there we go sorry if I'm rambling on nonsense I just don't want to bore you while I'm painting this I normally edit my um, videos using the YouTube uh, um, on editing program. Um, I've tried to um, get the I think is it Microsoft Live Movie Maker or something. Um, but I, I don't know how you work it, and I don't know how some people like you know manage to fast forward over these bits. And uh, I just can't figure out how you do it. So maybe I need to find some a different program or something to use to to edit 
my videos and you know make them look nicer and to fast forward on the boring bits. I'm wondering whether it was probably a good idea just to paint the whole blooming thing and rather than trying to go around it and and repaint the flowers afterwards. I might just uh, well, I'll see how it goes anyway. I might need to just a, a smaller brush just to go over the smaller bits, but it looks better already. <laughs> it's getting rid of that awful yellowy sort of. It looks like it's although I've tried cleaning it, so I know it's actually the colour of the how they've designed it. Um, but it looks like it's been in a room where someone smoked for 50 years and it's got this horrible sort of yellowy, like smoked stained look to it. <laughs> Which is fine if that's what you're looking for. But, um, actually, but I did like the, uh, the style of the, the actual frame and I thought, well, there's no reason why I can't make it a little bit more brighter and a little bit more, you know appealing. I've moved, um, I've got loads and loads, loads and loads of craft. I need to do a de-stash to be fair. I've got loads of stuff I don't use anymore like peel-offs and stuff. Um, they might come back in into style but I don't use, I don't use them. Um, so I've moved them all off of the shelf that they were stored on to so I can, um, I've now got all my, uh, some of the, some of the bits that I've actually made and then some of the bits that People have sent to me like I got one of um, Bonnie's uh, fabric books. I got that on there. Um, the uh, steampunk box that uh, Fiona sent me, and also the shabby chic wall plaque that um, I won off of uh, Fiona's Ustream channel. The very I think it was Mister About I don't know one of the third or fourth one she did so I was lucky enough to and it's it is it is lovely so that's all there and um, that's like I've got a shabby chic shelf and then a shelf which is more like a vintage shelf and so it looks that's quite nice so I'm quite pleased with it so and I've uh, so I'm just sort of getting in all, all the little nooks and crannies. My other half might come in in a minute and say, do I want a cup of coffee? I'm not too worried about if I get any paint on this back bit because um, I'm going to be covering it anyway. She's gone to buy her a trial and a wedding dress now. So it's the, it's the first time she's seen it. Oh dear. 
I think she wants um, a Jordan style pink wedding dress, um, which I don't think she's got. Oops. <laughs> oh well. This, uh, the yellowy part on this now really stands out <laughs> now that I think I've got this but I do it looks so much so much better now that the um, this anti white paints on there Uh, he's just organised her, her, uh, her head. She's a very girly girl, sort of like, you know, very glam, sort of girly girl. And he's organised um, a pirate fancy dress night for her. Her night, she's not a happy bunny. And she's refusing point blank to dress up as a pirate. So... <laughs> now she's saying she's refusing to get the wedding because she's got dressed up as a pirate on her home night. Mm. <gasps> He's just spent a thousand pounds on a helicopter. <laughs> They're not even Scottish, and that they? They're wearing kilts. He's decided to wear kilts as his wedding suit. <laughs> Mind you, we had um, kilts at. Uh, well, my my page boy's not wearing quick uh, kilts, but then my my mum's Scottish, so I was part Scottish. I think I might have to get a little uh, smaller brush just to get into all these little nooks and crannies. It's a good thing about these craft mats, it means I can turn that and I don't have to worry about uh, actually touching the uh, and getting paint on me. Right, so I think I need to. Uh, oops, that's missed a bit there. Okay, so now you can see that these flowers now look quite. Um, I just can't see a blooming thing anyway. An accident. 
Sorry, I'm singing to adverts. Too worried if it goes over a little bit because Quite windy outside. Oh, she thinks she's having a pirate themed wedding now. He's only got 400 quid left and he's got to buy his shoes, tiara, rings, bridesmaids dresses. Maybe he shouldn't have spent a thousand pounds on a flipping helicopter. What a bloke. <laughs> and he thinks she's going to have a diva attack. Right. Okay. I'm hoping that that's... Uh, Okay. Like I said, it doesn't matter if it's not perfect because it's a. Uh... I just need to. He's getting the bridesmaids to uh, buy their own dresses because um, he's got no money left. <laughs> Great. Okay, right. Okay, okay, okay. How are we doing? What do you think? Does that look, does that look better, do you think? Mm, I don't know whether it needs another coat. Every time I think I've, I think I've covered all the bow, I noticed a, another bit I've missed. Thank you. 
Yeah, they've just handed over to buy their own bridesmaids dresses. to see the wedding dress now. Let's see whether she has a, a diva fit. Oh, or is it she doesn't want pink? I don't know. Or he's chosen pink and she doesn't want pink. I don't know. We saved up for over a year to pay for our wedding. Oh no, it's a white dress. It's always quite nice. It's not pink. Oh, it is pink. It's like a very, very, very pale baby pink. Like, you know, very, like hint of pink, but not, but looks... <laughs> Well. Right, okay. That's enough of that. So I'm going to uh oh. I'm just gonna pause it here while I dry it and then I'll be back in a minute. 